Hello everyone, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little tickle in my throat there. Um, before we get started with today's video, I want to do a kind of uh, a public service announcement on uh, on just how predatory uh, this game has become is becoming, continuing to progress, and just how shitty and what they're doing in monetization. Now, I've already done a video about the troubles I have with the game, but I wanted to point this out. Um, no, not crown crates. Well, that's a... Shush, you. Okay, crown store. It's this right here. Dragon Rise Reward Bundle. It's free. There's 14 days left. The requirement. You need to buy Dragon Rise. Yeah, that pause is intentional. It's not free if you have to buy it. And then they have, there's only 14 days left. You need to buy this. You need to buy, put money in to get access to these four items, whatever they happen to be. Can I see? Uh, well, actually, sorry, the Elsewhere chapter, right? So I haven't paid for it, so I don't have access to it. Yeah, this is so fucking predatory. The company, nah. The game is good, I stand by it, it's got some of the best questings around, they've made me cry, it's beautiful writing. Really watch your shit when it comes to this stuff. I came in here. I usually don't. I came in here because I want to look at the houses. I mean, I have because, as you know, I pay for the membership, so things are just easier. And I was considering uh, seeing about this, you know, what what could I buy from the mansions? You know, I really like the Cold Harbor because of the uh, the colors and stuff. It's just really appealing to me. And I came across that. Came across a feature, which is non Mac default first thing that you're going to see. Yeah, terrible, just fucking terrible. Now, get back! You will not cut the scales from me again. Okay, fine. We will talk to this individual, assuming that it's for the teeth of Sithis, and we will check it out. Let's take a look. You are not one of her thralls. No. You do not smell like them. Quickly, you must help me. I only barely escaped her clutches, but my root sisters and brothers were not so lucky. Every moment we delay will be measured in innocent blood. I also forgot to plug in the headphones. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Meow. Shit. Hair getting tangled up here. There we go. Okay. Who is it you escaped from? Shulzotse. Devours the sun. High priestess of the teeth. She has many names. All of them spoken softly. She has returned from dusk to reclaim her temple. And we are the offering she makes for Sithis's favor. Uh, some sort of sacrifice then? Yes. What blood she does not drink is spilled on the altars of the temple. For what purpose, I do not know. But many have died for the sake of her terrible rituals. Shusotse must be stopped. Very well. I will put a stop to these sacrifices. The priestess holds them in the teeth of Sithis. Use the tunnel beneath the waterfall to reach the Zanmirs on the ridge above. We will regroup at the top of the western Zanmir once you've found the others. 
Do you know where I can find the other captives? Uh, besides up top? I only know that we were kept in the chambers beneath the twin Zonmirs. If anyone is still alive, that's where they will be found. Be cautious. They will be guarded by those Shusaltse has enthralled. They overwhelmed us with ease. That, okay, ease. You were captured by this? We were custodians of the Teeth of Sithis. Though it does not serve the same purpose it was built for, it is no less sacred. When the pitiful souls under the High Priestess's sway came to defile it, we resisted them, but her power was too much. Uh, it is un... sorry. Is it unusual for a High Priestess of Sithis to make blood sacrifices? Her way is the old way, from before the fall. We were less mindful of the cycle of change and gave only to the void. When the Hist revealed the true path to us, she chose to break the branch of her bond rather than turn back, or so the story goes. Uh, you're making this sound like it is an ancient um, folklore. It is. The tale of Shuzalse's betrayal and fall is a reminder not to stray from the guiding boughs of the Hist. I thought the lesson was embellished for effect, but it seems the only exaggeration was her demise. You believe it's really the priestess from the story? The story said she was cast down and entombed far from the roots of the Hist, never to return. But every spine on my body tells me the twisted creature that bathes in the blood of my fellows is Shuzaltse. Bathes in the blood? Are they talking... Uh, did they draw the inspiration from... Oh, I forgot that European uh, noblewoman who was said to have bathed in the blood of uh, women, virgins. Um, shoot, I forgot her name. But as it turns out, there were... When uh, the... Uh, she was brought to justice and stuff, um, any of the witnesses never actually saw her do this so it's unclear if she actually did that or not um, folklore um embellishment uh time changing stories you know once an oral type history eh, you know okay what can you tell me about the teeth of sithis a wonder from before dusk built high to cast Sithis's long shadow over the land. A reminder that Sithis is always looming, waiting to return us to nothingness. The old ways were flawed. Many saw Sithis as destroyer, but not as creator. <sighs> it's not the way of the Sithis because, uh, the way of Sithis because of the void, but some people look at say, uh, a swamp, death, destruction, decay, but everything that is decaying is bringing life back into the earth and uh, that sort of thing, like not just in a swamp, in a, uh, a forest. You know, you have, uh, a tree has fallen, um, and the mushrooms hear it and the fungus hear it and stuff and they start to consume it and other insects and so forth. Yeah, I threw in a little joke there. But anyways, how are the new ways different? The old ways sought to appease Sidis, so it might spare us from destruction. In our ignorance, we struggled against its will like the muck we built upon until we neared collapse. It would have swallowed us if the Hist hadn't shared their wisdom. What do the Hiss share with you? I'm assuming we're speaking with this person uh, specifically about their experience and not about the culture of the people. That Sithis is not only destruction, Sithis is change. Sithis tears down the old so that the new can grow. So we learn to flow with the river instead of struggle to alter its course. These are better times but Shuzaltse cannot see that. That's basically kind of what I was saying there. So if if initially there's misunderstanding of Sithis, 
that it is a destroyer and so forth, but it does serve a purpose and it can be good. At least that's how uh, this Arconian uh, sees it. Interesting. Uh, let's... Uh, no, I'll, I'll stick with the bow for the moment. Uh, there we go. How big is this map? Oh, so we're just using this to get to the next area. Okay, that, that's fine. Need to try and level the bow, you know? I do like the ability that has a knockback arrow. I like that. Mm, pardon me. You know, just uh, while we're in the loading screen for just a few more moments, that's actually how um, I look at winter uh, here in southern Ontario, Canada. Um, here, the water that is used in terms of growing crops and things like that, uh, excuse me, um, in the spring, summer, and fall, um, that water actually comes from snow for us. So I actually, okay, I actually enjoy the, um, our winters because, hey, snow means, uh, if we get a lot of it, we are less likely to face a drought that year. I'm in a bad position here. Okay. So, yeah, just a, a little side thing there. Oh! Okay, you are just about gone. Gotcha. And whether you a Pokemon, because you're now electrified? Silly me. I'm trying the other abilities, trying to learn. The knockback arrow obviously won't have an effect on this creature. Really shouldn't be wasting my time with it. So this area is not too big. We should be able to finish shut up in uh, this video. I would like to. So maybe it will go to about 25 minutes and we'll see how close we are. Uh, ooh. We'll see. We'll see. I tried to actually uh, roll there and failed. Let's 
go this way. Just one bl Oh. There we go. Someone else here? Ah, shit. Itchy eye. Ah, I thought I got it earlier. Ah, oh, I am terribly sorry. What is going on? You come to drain the sap from me again, but I have little left to offer your master. When the last of us are bled dry, it will be you who quenches her endless thirst. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Uh, Zod sent me. It does not matter. We are too entangled in the rotting roots of our past to flee from it. They have spread far and wide, unnoticed beneath the surface, and now that they have broken into the light, it is too late. So what would you have me do? Meet Zod on top of the western... Uh, Zemir. We'll decide our next move from there. So this ends up being just a larger quest. I can do that. Du, 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 du. Okay, what? what's going on? Up top, all right. Gotcha. Wow, okay, let's try this. Up. Or not. Wow. So much difficulty. So much difficulty. Oh, if you care to read, please pause the video and enjoy. That was a bit of a surprise. And another one. Nice. Uh, no. Get enough of this fine vintage, huh? Well, you cut off. Come any closer and I'll bash your fangs in. Easy now, easy. I'm here to rescue you. Uh, Zod sent me. You got out? Slippery skink, that one. Well, what are you waiting for? Set me loose so I can give these bloodsuckers a good thunk right in their pointy teeth. You're in no condition to pick a fight. Fine, Zod. He should be at the top of the uh, western Zamir. Okay. Somebody had been through here recently because we never had to fight those. It's not terrible. Makes it a bit easier. A little bit less exciting, but uh, that's okay. Oh! 
Oh, we'll have to remember that. Um, I'm going to wrap up here. We will speak to um, Zod. Zod. Something like that. Uh, in the next video. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to the channel, you can do the whole subscribe thing, bell notifications, and all of that stuff. Um, don't forget uh, to check other uh, channels for the bell subscription. I did, um, I did double check this and confirm. Holding down the bell icon gives you options as to how frequently you want notifications. They brought that back again. So uh, people that you want to always have videos from, you know, click always. And only sometimes click that. Yeah, do that for everybody you're subscribed to uh, that you want to have some kind of a notification from. Otherwise, YouTube is just going to do their random shit and you may not get content from people you want to see. Note, I'm not actually saying do this for me. I'm saying do it for everybody you follow. YouTube's being a bitch. Jeez. Anyways, until next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Bye.